Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're back once again with Fuller Blogging, our take on the news and more. And I'm here today to talk to you about churches and why are we still closed. I don't get it, I never have got it, I've said from day one that the church doors have, have never should have been shut. Um, our freedoms do not extend to whatever's going on, our freedoms are guaranteed not only by the Constitution, but also by God himself. Those, those rights were given to us by our Creator, so I've never been for the shutdown. I don't believe in it, and I never have, and I never will. So let's get that out of the way first and foremost. Second of all, um, why are churches being shut down, and yet Fred Meyer, Safeway, Bymart, Walmart, those places are packed. I mean packed. Um, I actually stopped by Walmart today to talk to an employee there and ask them what was going on, and she told me that they're allowed to have 1,053 people in the store at any given time. So it made me wonder as I drove past church after church after church that the parking lots were empty, that this must be the smartest virus of all time. It knows not to go into Walmart. It knows not to go into Safeway. It will skip right over Fred Meyer. But boy, if it sees a church door open, it's going to fly right in there and get you. Come on, folks. Enough's enough. For those of you out there that say, hey, I have faith, but I also have common sense, my response would be, no, you don't have common sense. You've been told something, you're regurgitating it, and you're living your life in fear without using common sense. Or you would see that this isn't the way viruses work. I've included a link to a couple doctors in California that will explain a little further. And I know your lives are, so are, are busy, but they're not so busy you can't take a few minutes to educate yourself on what's going on. Besides that, I don't want any church shut down. Now, I am an ordained minister with the Assemblies of God International Fellowship. Yes, I'm Pentecostal, but I want to see Baptist churches open. I want to see Church of God churches open. I want to see our community churches open. We need to get past doctrinal differences and understand that everybody in this nation has a right to worship as they see fit. And that includes the assembling of ourselves together, the praying and laying hands on one another, the ability for us to hear each other's testimonies and to live our lives and, and live our faith out loud. So, for those of you that are wondering what's going on, let me tell you. We're being shut down for political purposes. By who or by what? I can't go that deep. I don't know for sure. Maybe I'm not quite smart enough. All I know is it's not right. It's time for our church doors to open. And I'll put a big shout out right now to any pastor out there. If you've got a church door that is shut, it needs to be open. If you don't have the courage at the moment to fill that pulpit, feel free to contact me. I will come to any church that's willing to open their doors to the preaching of God's Word. God bless. Have a great day.